Here is the Canon XA20 camcorder, which I recently got off eBay second hand. I don't know what the previous owners did to this poor thing, but it was absolutely filthy when it arrived. I spent literally a whole entire afternoon cleaning this. At this point, there is one problem that remains. It's a very annoying problem. For some reason, the zoom rocker switch. is very squeaky, very noisy, as you could hopefully hear. And this does get recorded by the internal microphones. They are cheap, of course, made by Capxon, so that's nothing special. Some rails that it slides into, as you can see. So I really want to fix that. So that's what this video is going to be all about. The first panel has been removed. It's the bottom as well as part of the side right there. This does involve three different types of screws, so you've got to remember which one went where. The top panel is the next thing that needs to come off. You unscrew the accessory shoe plus three more screws, then that part comes off. And that's how you gain access to the hidden screws for this side panel. Next, you need to detach these uh, two connectors here and here. You can now take off the side panel to reveal the inside. It doesn't get any easier in here. I now got to free up the uh, zoom rocker assembly right there. Take out a ribbon cable and four more screws, and this piece comes off the side panel. We now almost have our zoom rocker switch unburied from this. Two more screws need to come out, and then one little screw that's holding the ribbon cable in place. And there it finally is, the zoom rocker switch. This is. It is quite noisy. And in case you thought, well, maybe you can force some grease down into this from the outside, well, no, you can't. As you can see, at least one of the pivot points is actually inside. There is just a screw right there. So that's the next thing that needs to come out. The zoom rocker has been taken apart and this is where it's getting really difficult. As it turns out, the squeak is very unfortunately caused by this white plastic thing inside. You can't take this out because as you can see this, um, this assembly there is a plastic pin that was melted to connect these pieces together. So you can't fix that. Now as I push this down you can see there are some contacts in there. So right there is like a, a miniature potentiometer. And this can actually go bad this uh, can have contact problems, in which case the camcorder starts randomly zooming. You do find camcorders with that problem on eBay occasionally. So I guess all I can really do is try to force some grease into this, being careful to avoid the potentiometer, because of course once you get grease into that, it's going to be messed up. I guess I'll have to I'll have to think about this a little more. But um, as you move this thing around, you can uh, you can feel that uh, as it slides, it um, you know it basically it moves in such a way that you know if you move it a bit faster, it would make this uh, squeaky noise. Yeah, I'll have to think about this one for a while. 
Continuing this operation, I now have Greece up in there, up in there, and on the other side in there. I did not put any Greece down there because that's where the contacts are and we don't want to have any Greece right there. If you now move the white piece, it does seem to move a lot more smoothly, so I think I think it's going to be okay. I hope it's going to be okay. So now I can start reassembling this. I am going to put some more grease into the pivot points there and there, and then there are two pieces, two parts of this plastic where the uh, the rocker seems to slide along on. There is one part right there, and then the other part is over there, right there. See, you can actually see it's kind of scratched right there. So, some more grease is going to go into there. The zoom rocker switch has been reassembled, and I have tried to actuate this in all sorts of different ways with different type of pressure, different type of speed. I was not able to get this horrible squeak out of this again, so that is good. However, unfortunately the switch is not a 100% silent, so that's not going to be perfect, I guess. But I guess this is just a compromise that I have to make between getting a silent zoom rocker switch and not risking to mess up the contacts inside. The side panel has been reassembled, and I just noticed this. The connection cable of the LCD screen runs along in a rather quite complicated way on the bottom goes all the way around and finally plugs in right there. You can see this connector. Uh, this is quite similar to what you can find in LCD televisions. I got the side panel back on and the top is back in its place. I got the connectors reinstalled as well as the battery. So let's now see if this still works. Well, it doesn't zoom when it's not supposed to. Let me now actuate the zoom control. Okay, that's full speed, now slow. Okay, that's not slow. That is slow. It's a little faster. Okay, that's very slow. Zooming out. That's zooming out a bit faster. And faster and faster. Okay, so the camera still works. That's good. And there is the reassembled Canon XA20 camcorder. I'm not going to say this repair was a complete success. There is still a little bit of noise coming from the zoom rocker. but it definitely is a lot better than it was before. So, that's nice. Thank you for watching.